I joined London Scotty Club because five years ago when I got my first dog, Douglas, I thought I was the only person in the world that had one because no one else seemed to have one. So I did a little bit of research and I think about a year later, up you popped. So I came to your first, my first walk in Black Park near Windsor, which is very handy for me. Hi everyone, um, I hand strip uh, Scotties and it was uh, great to see uh, all the varieties of Scotties I've seen today but basically it just shows that they're all well loved um, we, we, as we do and I'm always here to give advice if anybody needs any. I chose Scottish Terriers, well I think my accent gives it away. There are various Scottish dogs, but I chose Scottish Terriers because I think they are unlike any other dog that exists. They are feisty, they're loyal, and they are, um, they've got minds of their own, which I quite like. And this one here is my first one, that's Douglas. He's five, and this little lady, she's a rescue. She's, we think she's 10, and this is Maggie and she is the very stubborn one. When I was seven, I belonged to the Bunty Club and the badge was a Scotty dog. And I read Enid Blyton's Five Fine Daughters and Dog. Their dog was Scotty called Buster. And I was in love with Scotties ever since then. Unfortunately, I never managed to get one until now. I've had other dogs, a bulldog. Somehow, Scotty deluded me, but I'm so glad I got one now. And I'm jealous of all the people in the club who've had them all their lives, because they're wonderful dogs. London is a world-class capital, and Scotties are a world-class breed, and that's why we joined the London Scotty Club.